We're going to start something a little bit new today. Um, we will be using a little bit of our knowledge of angles, but basically we're going to be classifying triangles by their angles and also by their side lengths. Um, when we talk about angles, there's three big types of angles that we normally associate with, and that would be right angles, acute, and obtuse. And so as a result, we're going to use those um, relationships or, or those facts to go ahead and classify these triangles. Whenever you see a triangle that has one right angle on here like this, we would say it's a right triangle. If we looked at all three angles and we go, well, that's less than 90. This one's kind of close, but that one's less than 90. And this one's less than 90. When all the angles are acute, we call it an acute triangle. However, <clears throat> if we can find one angle that is bigger than 90 degrees, we would call it an obtuse triangle. Um, another thing to remember is that all three angles together, um, if you add them up to any triangle, the internal angles would always equal 180 degrees. So, for example, if we knew that this angle right here that I'm uh, circling in orange was 130 degrees, let's say, that only gives you 50 degrees left over to split between the other two angles here. And so you would have two acute angles, but we don't care about that. It's not an acute triangle because we have this huge obtuse angle that classifies it as an obtuse triangle. So again, if it's got one right angle, it's a right triangle. If it's got one obtuse angle, it's an obtuse triangle. If they're all less than 90 degrees, we would call it an acute triangle. The sine length is um, pretty easy to go with as well. Um, if all three sides have the exact same length, we call that an equilateral triangle. And think of the equa, uh, this part right here, um, as kind of an allusion to equal, and that will help you understand that they should all be the same length. Um, there's some also other cool properties in here. Um, every single angle for an equilateral triangle would be 60 degrees as well. Okay. Now, how can we show you an equilateral triangle? Um, if we show you that these little tick marks here, if this has two tick marks here and then I have two tick marks here, that's symbolizing that this left side is just as long as the right side. And then again, if we have two tick marks down here at the bottom, that's showing that um, that is the same length. So all three sides are the same length. Now over here, um, we have what's called a scalene triangle. That's where none of the lengths of the triangle are the same side. We've got one tick mark here, but none of the other sides have just one tick mark, which means they're different lengths than this side. This one has two tick marks, but this one has three and this one has one, so none of the sides are the same. That also means that no angles are equal. Over here, all three sides are the same and all three angles are equal. They're all 60 degrees. Um, over here, an isosceles triangle is just basically where you've got two sides that are, that are the same length. So we've got two tick marks here showing um, that it's the same length as these two tick marks over here. So left side is the same as the right side. Anytime that you have two sides of a triangle that are equal length, we'd call it isosceles. And then we also get this cool part here too, um, the angles down here in the corner of these equal sides are going to be the same value. Um, Basically, it just takes a little bit of practice to get used to it. Um, I'm going to throw up a, a few, and we're going to classify by angles, and then we're going to classify by sides. Here we go. Let's go classify these triangles by their angles. Um, a lot of times, they're not necessarily going to give you the angle measurements right off, but I thought this would be a little bit easier. I noticed that this is an acute angle right here. This is an acute angle, and this is an acute angle. So we would call it an acute triangle and it helps if I actually write correctly and spell it correctly so a acute triangle this one is 33 degrees so that's acute this one's 57 so that's acute but this one that's 90 degrees exactly so that's a right angle so I call it a right triangle down here this is an acute angle this is an acute angle but this one's not acute this one's obtuse, so I would call this an obtuse triangle. Now, um, before we go on, I'm actually going to clear off this screen. I'm actually going to set up three more triangles, and this time we're going to classify uh, a triangle by its angles, but we're only going to use diagram markings. The, um, the, the actual measurements will not be given to you. 
So um, hang on just a second. And there we go. We've done away with the exact angle measurements, and this will be more or less how it is. Classify each angle, excuse me, each triangle by its angles. If we can find an obtuse or right angle, that makes it so much easier. Here's a right angle, so that makes this a right triangle. This one, I don't see obtuse, and I don't see um, a right angle, so this looks acute, this looks acute, this looks acute. In fact, from memory of an equilateral, all three sides are the same, so each angle is 60 degrees. So that's an acute triangle. And over here, um, see this angle right here? Sorry, that's an obtuse angle, so we can just call it an obtuse triangle. And that's more or less what you'll see most of the time. Um, now if we were to classify a triangle by its sides, these tick markings are very, very helpful. See this one right here? Well, here's one right here. It's saying these two sides are the same length, but it's different than this one, this third side. So I've got two sides that are the same length. I would call that a isosceles triangle. Now we're going to skip number five for a second. Let's come down here. All three sides are the same length. So three sides are the same length. We're going to call that an equilateral. Um, and now we can come back and we can talk about this. We're going to be using its sides, but all that they give us is the angle markings. Now I know this one is 90 degrees. And see this angle right here, it's got uh, two curves like this. Well, it's saying that this angle only has one curve of line. It's it's basically saying that they're different angles. They're not the same. If I put two on there like this, it would be symbolizing these two are the same, and they're not. But if I put a third one on, this two is definitely different than this three. It's kind of like the tick markings, but it's in code for the, the angles. What do I know about um, triangles that have three angles that none of them are the same? This is 90. This is an angle less than 90, but it's different than this one, so three different angles means that I have three different side lengths. And if I have three different sides, then it's a scalene triangle. And that's how you can use the angles to go with it. If you saw a triangle with um, like this, and, and you didn't have the side markings on there, but they were like, hey, here's an angle, and here's an angle, and these two are the same. Well, we'd say um, if you have two angles that are congruent, that means that you have two sides that are congruent, and that would be isosceles.